Hey, my friends, Rocket here. I got called today. The homeowner said they had black leaves all over things. All the leaves were turning black, and this is a Nandina, and this is a Camellia plant, Camellia japonica. And then she said her poplar tree, which is way up there, had black leaves all over it. And so I said, well, that's sooty mold. And then you probably have aphids, and aphids will get under here and then their secretion falls here and here, and then you get a little fungus that's all called sooty mold. So we, we've got some little aphids under there, but the real culprit is scale. On every stem I can see with my eye, we've got scale all around the, 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 the branches, and it's their secretion is coming down here and causing this problem. And so let's, uh, if I can show you this, See this right here? You got little knots, little tiny knots. That's the scale. And then they're on this stem. I'm, I don't think you can see that. I can't see that. But anyway. <laughs> and this it's gonna be tough to treat that with just the chemicals you get yourself. You, you gotta have the good stuff that I use or pest control companies use. So, but got in that in the look at the black. Look at it. Look at I mean just that is so bizarre. Look at that. Just and they're just up there thriving and just having a good time and and uh so i would use uh we're gonna probably use a mitted chloroplid and do a drench or i may do some malge injections but look this is not good we've got a cavity here and it's trying to heal but look i got sawdust in here and i see some signs of bore holes right here so in its weakened state it could be could have bores in there so if it's got bores that's not good okay my friends that's what you get you signed up to be my friend we have sooty mold you know i'm excited it's always good to know the pest instead of doing a shotgun approach sooty mold that's today's word sooty mold all right my friends have a great day jesus loves you